down at the factory today, just running through our range of camera straps. Our lucky straps come in a heap of sizes and a heap of different leather types. So we'll try and give you a bit of an idea um, just in case you're buying it for a gift. Um, so you can work out what you think they'll like the most. Here we've got our biggest, widest strap. These ones are our long standard 53. So they're 53 millimeters wide and they are long enough to run as a full a crossbody shoulder type strap. That's what I use. I like to run it across my body. So I like a little bit of extra length and I'm a little bit taller. Our most popular size is the standard 53, but in our regular length. This can be used as a normal neck strap or it can also be used as a cross body shoulder strap or a shoulder strap um, hanging off one shoulder. Our newer line of straps, the Slim 30, these are 30 mil wide. They're designed for mirrorless cameras and they do work for lighter DSLRs. They come in our long as well, but most people are generally pretty good with the, the regular length, the short length up here. Then we have our wrist straps, which are the same width as the Slim 30, um, but just a nice small loop, which is adjustable. So you can run it just as a wrist strap if you don't like running a neck or a shoulder strap. If you're picking these straps as a gift for somebody, the most important thing to figure out will be what width they need. So if they're using a lighter camera, a smaller mirrorless camera like a Fuji or Sony or a Panasonic, uh, you'll want to run the 30mm wide straps. And depending on how tall they are, most people will probably be happy with this length. Some people will want the longer strap. If you're using heavier cameras, DSLRs, um, or right through up to, to really big, and heavy, even we've even got medium format users, um, you'll be looking at either of the 53 mil wide straps, either the long, if you're a taller person, or the regular. Some of the different options in leathers that we have, um, start with a brown. This is my favorite, the most common leather that's used is a brown new buck. It's got a little bit of texture to it. Grips a little bit to close, but it softens up really well and does slip a little bit when you need it to. Most of our straps are made with an upholstery style leather, which is a little bit softer to the brown. Um, got a finish like this black one here. A um, little bit of a dimpled finish, nice and smooth, slips really well on your clothes. So the black, the white um, that you can see here, even this red, they're all really soft upholstery leathers. We do also do a range of grip straps, which will have an upholstery leather on the top, but underneath we've got a suede, which will grip to most clothes like t-shirts, jumpers, things like that. So that is perfect if you like to have it hanging off one shoulder, but you don't want the strap to slide off, that's the strap for you. This is my camera here, um, a D750 with a grip on it um, and running the 70 to 200 2.8. So fairly heavy combination, not too bad though and I'm using with that the standard 53, but in the long length, um, just so I can get it across my body and have it be nice and comfy when I'm carrying it all day. My other camera, uh, the D810 with an 85 mil on it, I've just got the, um, the regular length standard 53 in brown on that one. Um, it's a little bit lighter, throw it over one shoulder, nice and easy to carry. Here is a Panasonic GH3 with our Slim 30 black strap. I stole this um, setup off our video crew, just so I can show you what it looks like, but perfect um, size for a nice little micro four thirds or mirrorless camera.